love everything vintage. I hunt thrift stores, garage sales, auctions and more for vintage items, furniture to refinish, pieces to repurpose, or just things I see value in to flip. Occasionally I keep unique items I just can't live without. I'm Original Vintage 71. Follow me on my thrifting and DIY <laughs> adventures. We're having a good time. Don't matter. <laughs> I debated on whether or not I was gonna share this video. I thought it was a little short. It was filmed before the last one I posted and then I decided, what the heck? I might as well share it too. So I hope you still enjoy it. I have also got a thrifting video from today. <laughs> today, not today. Coming your way and yesterday coming your way. So I've got two coming. Keep watching to see those videos. So today is Thursday, February 2nd. We're sneaking off from work to go thrifting before the end of the day. It's one o'clock to see what we can find to flip for a profit and hopefully some cool vintage items. We didn't have very much success this weekend uh, at the thrift stores that we stopped at. Yeah, they were pretty picked over. Today we're hoping because it's during the week, it's gonna be better. How's your coffee? How's your coffee? <laughs> Yummy? Like good. <laughs> oh. Donald's coffee in there. It's going right to the hockey stick. Oil Kings. You should. Look at these guys. Goofy and dopey. Real seal fur. Look at these little seal fur seals. We see a lot of eggs here. Is that an uh, ostrich egg painted? $14.99. Not are enough room in that one. I like those seals. I know. That's what I was trying to tell you. Nine seals for $49. Bucks. <laughs> Look at this guy. And the eyes on this one. <laughs> the Savage Sword of Conan. 150 bucks for a nice girl, hey? Girl next door, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Totally. She looks very friendly. <laughs> oh, there's Raph. Gotta look on the Raph. Here's a whale puppet. Native Explorer Puppet Collection. Unfortunately, the music got a little loud here. I chose not to take it because comp showed that they didn't go for very much. <laughs> this looks like an old game. National Velvet game. $4.99. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. I'll look it up. See if it's worth anything. It's missing its spoon. I like the color. Oh, look at this teapot. I don't think somebody glued that on there. They did. It's mid century modern. Melita. I think I was thinking I could get the butterflies off, but the top is chipped. That's why they put the butterflies on, I guess. <laughs> no. Yeah, sometimes. $4.99. Oh, a nice one. Oh, sunflower plate down here. Hmm. Kind of cute. Glass. Glass. Roast. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I don't usually like to buy clear glass, but that's kind of a fun one. Search it up. Cheese platter down here. Oops. Gouda mozzarella. Glass cheese tray. It's kind of fun too, actually. It's big. There's that set still here. Those are nice glasses, except there's only two. Oh look, a Fanta glass. That's cool. $1.99. Mm -hmm. 
did not see the Fanta glass. This is uh, the orange pop that we drank as kids. Fanta orange pop. Only one. Sometimes you just have to take your time. Well, these are nice, big, huge coffee cups. Six of those. $3.99 for the set. Those are kind of nice. Okay, got red in the in the inside. Very nice. Um, but honestly, I bet you I could get at least thirty for them. What do you think? Three ninety nine for the set. Yeah. Yeah, I'd buy that. We'll think about it. We'll put them in the cart. Might keep them. Hmm. Might keep them for three ninety nine. Right. <laughs> Gave it back. That was ours? Yeah. <laughs> the pepper. Really? Yes. It was in my booth for a while. He said I liked that pepper. <laughs> he said he pepper. liked it. I know, but you can only have so many dishes at home, you know what I'm saying? That thing's cool. It is. Put taco dip in it? I know, but it sat forever. And we don't need it at home. Half cup. Half cup measure. Where's the rest of them? Cause that's really cute. Dollar ninety nine. It's a cute half cup measure. It's only a half cup measure. How's that? Charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. Mike was saying a charcuterie board for two very small people. <laughs> people that don't like cheese as much as we do. <laughs> yep, my mom had these. This was a thing when I was younger. Geese. See any Starbucks cups? These guys I think are vintage. Just little golf bags. Cute little plastic cups. That's cute. Oh, right beside it. Just put your beer in there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, clean it up. If you think it's, it's three bucks, you might get 12 bucks for it, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's going together. Somebody made a candle out of it. Oh, no, I'm good. I had these crystal diamonds. They're candles. They might be party light. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Carry around your house? Yeah, I, I like them too. I don't know if anyone else does, but we like them. What is this? A Christmas tree? Whoa. With rings? Must be. These are kind of fun. KG. Handmade Industries. Heavy. A little bent though. Oh, really bent. Too bad. It's got a ding. Very cool. But they're dinged up, so. Where's your selfie stick? Right? Imagine walking around here with the selfie stick. <laughs> Two girls in the dresses. And Another one I donated. <laughs> you donated those? Yes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> they sat in my booth all the way back to Heaven's to Betsy. I think they're old lamp uh, pieces. Oh, wow. yeah. 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 And they're so cute, but what? I don't know. What do you do with them? You get these. Probably had a cup in it before, like a glass cup. You know, like those shooter glasses that we have with the little metal holders? Huh? Rocks here, if, if you know anything about rocks. Those are some nice pears. Yeah, nothing's uh, jumping out in this area. December. Which is cute. That's uh, 
it, trim it, I think. Milk glass vase for $7. Heavenly Woods by Pavilion. Really? Oh. Family makes life beautiful. Yes, they do. This type of stuff I don't do very well with. Seven dollars for it. Let's check this one out. Oh, I see some owls. Metal owls. Those are kind of fun. Farm to table organic market. See how it goes. <laughs> Farm to table. Yep. This is somebody's dog treat. Dog treat to, to put your leashes and dog treats in the can for when you get back. Okay, so not a lot of stuff. Uh, new at the thrift store today, but we did find a Fanta glass. And if it's not worth much, I'll probably keep it because it reminds me of my childhood. Uh, the 50s board game, that looks interesting. Still have to search it up. And the clear glass casserole, if it's not worth anything, we'll keep it because I think it'd be really cool to be able to see your food through your oven proof casserole dish. And what else? Oh, so we're the... keeping everything. We made nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're keeping everything. We didn't make a dime today. Uh, oh, we might sell the black coffee cups we bought too. Uh, we might keep those too. We might keep those too. Yeah, we're just keeping it all. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it that we found at that thrift store. Maybe I can talk Mike into going to another one. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. See you guys. We just tried voice to text to look up that Vanta glass and. It's looking up Santa glasses. No, I want a Santa glass. Santa. <laughs> I'm showing you guys my oven here because this little oven here, sometimes I have a hard time finding dishes that fit in it. And guess what? This one is a nice size and it fits in perfectly. Look at that. It fits perfectly. So now I have to keep it. And this board game here is actually, I noticed, 1961. And it also says it's for ages 7 to 12. So when the nieces and nephews come over, well, we're going to give it a try and see if it's a fun game for the kids. But it's, got, it's got the instructions and the board looks like it's in good condition. A little bit of a scuff there, but nothing major. And it looks like all the pieces are in there. But we'll have to read the instructions to see if they're all, all there still. There we go. And after researching the Fanta cup, it's not worth a whole ton, so I'm going to keep it at my house. Okay, I'm really liking the black coffee cups with the red on the inside. These might be staying with us. I did a quick shirt search and I couldn't find them, so I'm not sure how much they're worth. I don't even know if they're vintage. They're probably contemporary, but I'm not sure. I think we will keep those ones. We paid $3.99 for six of them, which is super cheap for six. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. For more thrifting and DIY at Original Vintage 71, thanks for watching.